Hi, I'm Doc Moyo, and welcome to another Heart Healthy Holidays Special Edition. We are here in my kitchen, and we are cooking up a healthier hash today. And I know what you're thinking, Doc, there is no way you can convince me a corned beef hash can be healthy. Well, what we're trying to do today is not necessarily take those leaps and bounds on the way to a healthy heart, but take the small steps that add up day to day, become habit, and lead to big change. So today we're cooking the healthier corned beef hash. And before we get cooking, the first thing to do in any kitchen when you start to cook, especially if you're cooking for others, wash your hands. So we're also excited today to be tackling three questions that I get pretty often. The first question is what's healthier, a sweet potato or a regular potato? The second question is what should I cook with, butter or olive oil? And the third question, which we get pretty often, is if I'm cutting out the salt, how do I keep the flavor? So those are some of the things that we're gonna be tackling today in the kitchen as we cook this healthier corned beef hash. So as I'm sure you've already guessed, we're substituting out the regular white potato for sweet potato. We're gonna poke some holes into the sweet potato about five to seven times. And this is because we are microwaving our sweet potato. All right, so while that's microwaving, we are going to start chopping some of the vegetables. In order to increase the vegetable content in this corned beef, ha corn beef hash and make it healthier, we're gonna be adding some carrots as well as some garlic and some onion as well. Now, if you're asking yourself why we are microwaving our sweet potato. That is because of a number called the glycemic index. And what that is, the glycemic index, is a measure of how fast and how high your blood sugar increases with any food that you eat. A recent scientific study found that microwaving or steaming your food, specifically potatoes, will increase the glycemic index to a lesser amount than if you were to bake it or roast it. So we're trying something new today and we're gonna try to microwave our sweet potato. It's gonna be in the microwave for about four to five minutes. We're gonna let it come out a little bit on the undercooked side, and that is because we're gonna continue cooking our sweet potato in the pan as we cook our corned beef hash. I'm cutting the carrots here quite small. I want them to cook quickly when they're in the pan. They'll be going into the oven as well to finish off, so that'll help soften them up a bit, but it's all right to have a little bit of a crunch. Not a big deal. Now we promised to answer one of the questions that we get quite often, which is what is healthier, the sweet potato or the regular potato? As you know, we subbed in the sweet potato and the reason why we did that is that if you're a person with high blood sugar or diabetes, the sweet potato may be the better option for you. The reason that is, is because the sweet potato has less calories and less carbs. Additionally, we talked about that glycemic index and the sweet potato has a lower glycemic index than a regular potato. So substituting in a sweet potato for a regular potato whenever you can is a surefire way to try to help keep your blood sugar low when you're cooking for yourself or for others. So we're gonna cut this onion pretty small. We're gonna cook this onion until it's nice and translucent and a little bit lightly brown, but you want a sharp knife, but a sharp knife ensures that it cuts through the onion as opposed to crushing the onion as it passes through. And that means that less of the juice of the onion gets into the air and you're less likely to cry. Less likely to have those onion tears as you're cooking. So as I mentioned, we wanna cut this pretty small. I'll just push this over here to the side. The other thing that we'll be adding to our corned beef hash is garlic, about five cloves. And you're gonna have them whole, but what you wanna do is just crush them. This will help release some of the aromas and the flavors. It's also a very easy way to remove that garlic skin or garlic paper that uh, is often pretty tough to remove around garlic. All right, so you can hear the beeping. That means our sweet potato is done. And we're gonna let that cool a little bit because what we're going to do is actually cut into that sweet potato and chop it up so it's gonna cook nice and evenly with the carrots and with our garlic. And even though these large cloves will do just fine, I'm gonna cut them in half or into similar size chunks here. And we'll be adding that to the onions after they cook a bit. All right, let's check on our sweet potato. Now your sweet potato is gonna be hot, so be sure to handle with care. One thing you can do when handling the hot sweet potato is get a paper towel or a dishcloth. Use it to cover that potato. You can see that it's nice and soft. The knife just cuts through with ease. So we're not gonna have to cook this potato for a long time in the pan. Now this potato was in there for five minutes. If you want, I recommend about four minutes. 
you're asking yourself why olive oil as opposed to butter, that is a great question. Olive oil or vegetable based oils are less inflammatory than cooking with animal fats or animal cooking substances like butter, lard, and things like that. So not only are they less inflammatory, but they have more omega-3s and less omega-6s. And what that leads to is higher HDL as well as lower LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. And so overall, olive oil cooking with olive oil is something that is healthier for you. So as you can see here, we have chopped our sweet potato into kind of carrot size pieces. The carrots are definitely a little thinner. As I mentioned, we want those to cook a little faster. And we're gonna actually add these over into our pot uh, a little earlier as the onion is starting to get translucent. That way that carrot will start to cook up. So the reason we're using this corned beef, and you can use brisket as well, is frankly because of price. The corned beef is already cooked, it's ready to go. You can see it's got a, quite a bit of fat on it. So even when you're picking out the brisket, you wanna pick a leaner type of beef. And even with the brisket as well as this, you may want to remove some of that fat. It's just unnecessary. And then we're just going to chop through the corned beef, similar size to the potatoes. Mix that in with our potato. And this is where we're cutting out the salt. And we're going with paprika, great salt substitute. So we'll add a little of this, black pepper. If you're asking yourself why physicians and doctors and health nuts like myself try to make such a big deal about salt is that in your body, water follows salt. So if you're somebody with heart disease, something like heart failure or kidney disease or even swollen legs, the more salt that you're taking in in your diet and in your body means the more water that you're holding on to. Another great salt substitute is Worcestershire sauce. I know I messed that up, but until somebody tells me how to say it right, that's what I'm doing. So we're gonna mix that up and time to get this over into the pan with the rest of the veggies. We're gonna mix in that sweet potato, that corned beef, the garlic, the onions, and carrots. Mix it up all in together and you're gonna actually wanna press this down so you get a nice browning of the potatoes, nice browning of the corned beef. And you're gonna let this cook on the stove for about five minutes or so. We can get to chopping up some of our green onion. This is something that I like to, like to add towards the end of our cook. Just adds a nice burst of flavor, nice burst of color, and freshness. You can add it to a lot of different meals. I use it quite regularly. Some additional flavor, and crack a couple of eggs in there. Now if you like, you can cover this, and help keep in some of that moisture. It will also help those eggs cook up. All right, so that's been in there for about five minutes now. We're gonna check on it. Make sure those eggs and everything is cooked up just how we want. That looks nice and done to me. We are ready to add our green onions for a little garnish. All right, so there you have it, a healthier corned beef hash. As highlight, a couple of things we did to make this healthier. We traded out the white potato for a sweet potato to cut down on that blood sugar spike that we can get with the white potato. We traded out salt and added paprika as well as Worcestershire sauce to still bring that flavor that we want and that uh, we crave with our food, but to decrease the salt and help with blood pressure. And then last but not least, we started our cooking process with olive oil instead of animal fat like butter or lard or anything like that. So those little, little small steps can make things as you cook in the kitchen a little healthier, improve the holidays for you and your family. If you have any further suggestions, comments, or questions, please leave them in the message section below. Go over to wealthy.com and find more information about how to cook healthy, how to be healthy, how to live healthy, and as always, live wealthy. Hey guys, thanks for joining us for the uh, taste test portion of this healthier corned beef hash. Uh, a couple of things that I would do to make it even healthier and actually to improve the taste is add more vegetables. Wish we had some bell peppers with us today. Some red peppers or green peppers would be delicious in this. Um, and actually use more than one sweet potato. We used one sweet potato today. I would say one and a half to two would be perfect and give us sort of uh, more of that vegetable base that would be key and key in making this a heart healthier option for you. So keep those things in mind if you're making this at home um, and continue to experiment in the kitchen. Often a lot of my clients and a lot of people I talk to don't spend enough time in the kitchen and they don't know what they're doing and they 
find that to be a point of fear. So overcome that fear, get in the kitchen, experiment, try out new things. First time we're trying this and it's pretty good, but it can always be better and make it healthier. So be sure to do that as well. Enjoy.